Happy Halloween. Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Rad Tosca vs Apollo. Uh, Rad Tosca was like one of the requested gods and uh, I think um, he's going to be alright. Now the thing is, I do not have faith in my Rad Tosca, but we're going to risk it anyways. One, two, one, two, three. Um, I, I really am... I don't play Rad Tosca that much, and there, there's a reason why. I love this god, actually. This is one of the few gods you'll hear me say I like but don't play. And the reason I don't play is because I don't like the mechanic they gave him. Is this little acorn here. This is... I hate this. I hate this. Hey, that's my rep, buddy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Two. Oh shit, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh, I got it! Oh, I got it at the cost of what, but I got it. Oh shit, did he have it? No, he had golden bow. Ooh, that was close. Let's not do that again. More damage? Uh, yeah, let's go more damage. Holy crap. That was... Oh, didn't think I was going to get that. One mistake. One mistake. Ah, jeez. Woo! Damn, Rad Tosker. That was scary. That was really, really scary. Um, but we're going to go ahead, clear these, and then go back to a buff. Well, that's what he gets for going to my buff. Let's see if I can catch him again. I should have an extra item if he went to the other red. Yeah, he probably went to the other red. Or to a blue. Alright, so that's that. Now I'm going to be leveling up my dart because I'm going to actually be focusing into my dash over everything. And then, um... Oh, he cleared and then he's going for that red? I think he took purple or something. on the left side. All right. Got it. All right, so we're, it looks like we're going to be jungling quite a bit here. Going to take as much of his jungle as possible. Him going with the golden bow isn't the safest start, for sure. It has a lot of problems with it. Uh... But it it's meant for clear, which so far he has yet to challenge me in a lane. What he's been doing is jungling and I've been catching him out. And my, uh, my build is just a power start, so I have more power than he does. So what I was able to do is finish a power item early with a little bit of cooldown and uh, a better dash. And so with that, I'll be able to uh, ultimately... Is he going to go for my purple? I'll listen for it. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. But yeah, so I got a power item already. So that's 50 damage each basic attack does now. Plus, my dart is upgraded with lightning attacks. So what we're going to do is his purple's down. I don't know if I can go for mine. I want to, but I don't know if I can. I could have. He's going to most definitely alt back in... Uh, he's trying to build devourers and boots. It's a bit risky. It could be done. Oh, he did not alt back in. Alright, so we'll let those happen. Then I'll go take purple buff, leaving blue open for when and if I need it. Or I could just go take it. Hmm. Tough choices are tough. He could alt over for this, though. That's another thing. It's like, if you... If you know your opponent's going for jungle, one way to get catch them off guard is to ult for them uh, and let that happen. Now, I can go for boots and uh, see if I can't battle them that way. Alright, so I got him with one tag, and then we'll just clear the way with the other. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use a health potion here. He's backing again, so I'll clear again. If he ults back this time, it'll be to get all the gold from the wave. Let's 
So we're gonna go for blue next. And we're gonna upgrade the flurry second. Now, the only reason I upgrade dart is because it's extremely powerful and it can crit when I get crits, which I'll be getting crits very shortly here. Actually, in fact, I might even be rushing crits um, just for that additional burst I can get against him. I'm actually gonna go for red, so I'll use a blue potion, get my mana back up. Nothing, nothing for him other than his purple is possibly available. There we go, we're gonna keep those in line. Gonna make one more wave push, then go for the red. And I think we'll be pretty good, I think. I wanna say. All right, so he's got devs. Level up dart one more time. There we go. Now we're gonna go for red. And then I'll most likely be picking up rage, which like I said, rage is extremely uh, powerful for me, uh, especially since my dash can crit, but I'm watching out for his alt, because his alt can potentially... He's going for purple. Perfect. All right, well, as long as I just keep getting money. Uh, so I might go for Rage first. Having Rage first with crits early game, that's going to make me extremely powerful since I already have a power item with uh, cooldown potential. All right, better alt. Going for that Rage. There we go. So the next thing I need is boots because I will not be... Um, Having, I don't think I'll need, have the need of, uh, unless he's, ooh, he's not there, so I'm definitely going to go for red. Oh, early game damage, especially since he's not there pressuring it, it doesn't matter to me. Plus he'll lose gold and experience if he's not there for the minions that die all the way away from him. Can't take his blue, I think he went for that. Ah, oh, he's playing pretty defensive. Um, I could get defense, but I think I want boots. Trying to see if I can catch him or something. Just a couple hits. Might want some boots. Come on. Heal me, please. I, I ran into his passive, so the passive actually really hurts. No matter what I'm doing. Oh, he caught me mid dash. Fudge. He could come back. Don't know why he doesn't. Damn it. That's a shame. I'm gonna need some sort of early defense or beads to get through his stun. I can hurt him, I just, he hurts so much more right now. And he will always hurt more because he's an ADC. Ah, oh, Ranatosker does good with crits. But maybe I made a mistake going Opal? I don't know, I haven't played him since his nerf. Uh, to be honest, after I made the videos for the Joust, every after he got nerfed, I just didn't feel like he was worth the time. Alright, well, see, I took like two shots and I'm already dying. Um, and I've got Rage and I've got the power item. Nope, there's... Man, there's really nothing I can do. I really will need just defense. Uh, can I even pick up defense with that? Yeah. Alright. That's unfortunate. He's got ranged advantage on me, and that sucks. Your middle phoenix is under attack. Oh, did I really? Fudge. 
Guess I'm slightly faster. Again! Damn! That freaking Mez! This is probably one of the worst matchups I could have gotten. No, I lied. There's a lot worse I could have gotten, but this is pretty bad. Um, I, that Mez, it hits me before I can actually hit him with my dash. I mean, it's pretty obvious when I go in, but I have to use Flurry first. I can't dash, then Flurry. Can I? Yeah, I guess I can. It, I don't. I honestly don't think it'd be worth it, but he's going for Executioner next. Which is going to be fine, which I just need this. She's most likely going for a push, so... Oh, there he is. Perfect. Wow. He got shielded the underworld already? Holy crap. Oh, he's going to beat me with just that. Oh, okay. Think about this. Think about this. Think about it. Think about it. I don't know what I'm going to think about, but i got to think about it really quick. He has no defense. I'm trying to go through him, but Shield of the Underworld has just saved his life and killed me. Jesus. I mean, I got two kills on him. But if he can pop that and do that, that's not good for me. At all. So this time I'm actually not even going to use an ability in the case that he's on his way. So I can try that again. He shouldn't have Shield of the Underworld this time. But I will. I will also be able to pop that. There we go. We'll see how he likes that in return. And I actually have armors, uh, so he'll take a couple of shots to actually go through my protections, and he will initially hurt himself. As soon as I can get it to demands. I think the last item I'll get is Frostbound. That's the last thing I can do. I just gotta hope that everything I have works well within itself, because I gotta go for uh, Titan's Bane for objectives. Oh! 20 HP. Not even close, son. Not even close. Jesus! Alright. Let's grab that in the man. Yeah, it's just a little heavy there. Just a little heavy. Holy shit. Alright, so yeah, I need pen next. Uh, so what we're going to do for that is I'm going to get Titan's Bane. Whew. So we both have Shield of the Underworld. I have Nemanes already. He's already got his pen. But his pen acts as both attack speed and power. It's just so stupid how well it works for him. So i got to be careful. He took it. I activate my shield first. He's got a passive off. I gotta get him to use it. Yeah, I can't even hurt him. I need 200 more gold to actually hurt him. And I have no way of healing either, so first things first. I'm going to need to use uh, something to heal, but let's start Titans, and then we'll try to finish with it. Oh, yeah, he hurts it. I know he does. Oh, the range isn't as good as I thought it'd be. So he wasted two shots. Uh, he's actually landing them. God damn it. Well, I did what I could, but again, without Titan's Bane, there will be no form of pen against him, so I really need this to do anything. I need to heal. To the Frostbound or Aussie neck, or Soul of. Soul. Ooh, you know? Frostbound helps slow him down. And it slows attack, but Soul Eater gives me that lifesteal and additional pen and attack speed. And life steal. Oh, that's tough decisions. Well, he's gonna turn to shoot me, so I should be fine. I am naturally faster than he is too. All 
Alright, he won't shoot me. And that's all I needed, was just him not to shoot me. Should be able to take it and run. That's all I want to do. Alright, so with that, I took it, I ran. He can go for the left one. It's doubtful that he will, but he can. Okay, so I took it. Oh, he's getting frostbound. That little goober douche. So I need to be careful of him. So we will need tier 2 sprint. Or... Yeah, let's get the sprint. This is so I can hunt him down. I'm most likely... I, I would go for uh, the frickin... Frostbound hammer myself, but the problem is, like I said, uh, I have that acorn in my freaking build. Not, whether I want it or not, I have the acorn in my build, and it's got to be there. Do I want it to be? Not really. All right. So again, I'm kind of actually stuck here now. Gosh. Alright, so that should have cleared them. He should have another wave on the way, but I should be able to come back with a little bit of lifesteal. Oh, I got it. I couldn't stop it. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do. Like, this particular guy doesn't have that much. <sighs> it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Did it do anything? No, but it was worth a shot. Oh. Alright, well, I got what I need to do as much as I can, but the Ratatosker, I, I think, just struggle, will always struggle in Joust because of the acorn. As much as the acorn is good, you are forced to have it, and it's it, it takes away your ability to counter build because you're always stuck with that item. I actually do need how much ever it's gonna... 900? Jesus! Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna have to sit back. Oh. Alright, well he's gonna be Apollo and do that all day, so we're just gonna heal up. One whole tick. There's nothing I can do to stop that right now. Like he's gonna he's gonna deal damage to it and then walk out or fight it. There's nothing I could do. Like, he just dealt so much damage to it. I didn't even get to use my shield of the underworld, so I still have it. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. And I don't I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I've got a healthy, reflective build. Uh, the only problem is I can't get something like Frostbound to really help me out. Um, I've got that, but I could go for a different acorn, because, you know, I don't know exactly... Uh, I don't know exactly what a uh, what I could do with this with the right acorn. Like all of his acorns are great, but once you're stuck with an acorn, you're actually stuck. All right, those three archers should be able to handle one. I got a back because he can back door, and I'm not gonna let him. And so I got. Power potion, I pushed a wave up, and there he's now in the middle with a power buff, so I gotta be careful. Mind your post, soldier. Gotta word up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna initiate on the minions here.
Whew, fuck. Uh, there was nothing I could do. Like, uh, Radisker just... The acorn takes away his ability to counter build. Then the build I would take, I would grab Frostbound. And I would be perfectly healthy with a very nice... Um, with a very nice slow and counter to him. But right now I'm stuck with Acorn. Critland. It's not my favorite. Where's he going? He's backing? Great. Alright, it should be able to handle one little minion. It really should. Should have taken that. Should be blindly going for the red. Oh yeah, got that. So I got the red now. That's good. Cleared that. He's coming. I don't think he's ulted. Oh, he ulted. He definitely ulted. Alright, so he has the power. He has the potential. He can pretty much take whatever he wants. So I gotta run as slow as I am. As long as he heals it up a little bit, I'll be okay, but... Yeah, this is not pretty. I mean, the most I'm able to do is really turtle as hard as I can. Uh, there's nothing I can do! Get off it. I mean, I just, I have to sit and defend. There, there is legitimately, I'm at my, my wit's end. I, I don't have the power to kill him. He has shield the underworld. When my abilities are down, I'm done. But he doesn't have any anti, oh yeah, he does. He has the freaking shield the underworld as anti-heal. Ah. His ult should be down. My ult's up though. He could go right for it. Like, that's legit. We're gonna go separate ways. Don't think this is readily available. He's gonna push. I need to get two wards if possible. Don't need to sell my mana potions. I only got one. Shit. That's not good. Alright, Phoenix, I really need you to just hang in there, alright, buddy? Alright? Okay, fantastic. That is actual bull. I, uh, there's nothing I can do. I, I'm the, I'm at my limit. Like this is Radtosker's best. Uh, he's got too much control. I don't have the power to stop him. Okay, so uh, I could try for something else. I don't know. I don't know what else I could try for. I I don't necessarily have. He's wasting my time. He's just gonna kill it. Like there's there's really nothing. So um, just to let you guys know, Rad Tusker, just like kind of Ravon, he, he's not viable for Joust. Uh, if you do get it off, you got the right matchup for it to work. But any hunter with a Frostbound Hammer and Lifesteal wins the fight and a piece of defense. So thank you everybody for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game. Anyways, so let's get Rad Tusker out of the way, and this is this is why I really you you haven't seen a video since I played him in. I did try him a couple times, but the same thing happens every time. No matter what Ratatosker does, I, I've i tried a couple acorns and like it's always the wrong acorn. It feels like it's always not enough. 
Um, I've tried Emerald before, and I they just built anti-heal, and I was done. Uh, because nothing in my kit really did well enough. And there's always just one item in Ratatosker's build that you just need. I, I could have done better with a Frostbound Hammer. Hell, he got boots and he got Fatalis with no crit, and I was unable to beat him. Be and I had crit. Had I sacrificed crit for... Anything else, if I got Frostbound and Devours, I might have done slightly better, but I got the crit item, Opal Acorn, to try to do better. Shield the Underworld does not counter crits, it just reflects damage. Whether you have crit, well, it deals a lot of damage if you crit, don't get me wrong, just don't attack them. But to be honest, Ratchsker's highest damage is from Opal Acorn with crits. Double damage on everything that he does, you can get a very good burst, plus you can wipe large areas of minions at the same time, heal off and apply on a hit effects. This is my favorite acorn, but I, um, I just don't, as much as I love this god, uh, I play him in an arena often, but it's not here, not in, uh, not in Joust. I, I, if you guys can do it, fantastic. I cannot. Uh, no matter how many times I've changed his build, made it, try to work. The Ratatosker's Acorn is his downfall in Joust. It does not allow you to counter build, especially since you cannot sell it and alter it in whatever way you want. Um, fighting any any hunter at all, it, it's rough. And then that does not include any uh like habwa hell any healer it just oh my goodness it's one of the most excruciating battles you'll ever have but of course ratatoskr does do decent against some gods but even most assassins can outdo him nemesis can beat him and nemesis is a god that i i always say isn't viable and just but when you fight a ratatoskr uh her shield did pretty much just negates everything ratatoskr can do and it's just that's it so, uh, Ratatoskr was the most requested god, and, uh, the reason I don't play him is this. Like, straight up. Uh, so if you do come into Joust, don't come in thinking Ratatoskr is gonna carry you very far. That's about all the advice I have. Uh, you can alter your build, try to see if you can get something to work for him, but like I said, uh, I ha I mean, if, if you can make that acorn work, I can't. I can't make that acorn work. It ruins every build I have. I need that sixth item to make it work. Uh, originally, I wanted to see if a fire marshal Ratatoskr was even possible, and it's not because of the acorn. Um, the acorn makes it literally impossible. Um, so that, it just royally sucks. It truly does. But thank you, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.